fortunately or unfortunately this is our last stop in Colombia and it's going to be a stunning one um, so we'll tell you more about this beautiful cathedral once we get there okay before we get to this cathedral it's important we feed ourselves some nutritious filling breakfast so I'm doing that right now uh, we did a grocery run and I bought a lot of fruits and vegetables so I'm really excited and I'm gonna make some nice delicious breakfast for my husband Tequila. Tequila, banda. Huh? Oh shit. Oh. Let's go. So we're finally taking the cable cars down to the church. You can either take the cable car down or walk for 30 minutes. We chose the cable car. I don't know why, because we're lazy. It's a 15 minute cable car down straight into the canyon and it costs $15 for a round way trip. And the best thing... The papaloos are here papaloos with us! Papaloos are alive! Yeah. Dogs are alive in this cathedral! Yeah! Bali's first cable car ride! <laughs> She's only three months already going on adventures. This church is actually one of the most beautiful churches in the world. It's been rated as one of the most beautiful churches in the world. Of course, it has a lot to do with the location, how it's in the middle of the valley, surrounded by rivers and waterfalls, and how it took 35 years to make that. But the history goes back to 1700s when this indigenous lady named Maria was walking from Potosi to Bialis, which cuts through this deep valley. She was walking with her deaf and mute baby girl named Rosaria and suddenly Rosaria screamed mama the cave is calling me so she got really scared that how come her daughter is talking she goes to this cave and led everyone from the village to this cave where her daughter got blessed with the voice and since then they started building this holy place when one of the famous architect joined teams with the bishops and created this beautiful church with the help of these rocks called Las Lajas. They are gray, dark gray rocks that are thin in texture and that's what gives this dark gray appearance to the whole cathedral. It would be one of the most picturesque cathedrals like that we have album. ever come by in all of Latin America. And there's a lot of beautiful, beautiful cathedrals in every single city and town that you go to in Latin America, but this one is very special for sure. Wow, definitely not a miss. Did not miss this. Okay, this is our final, final moments in Colombia. We're about to head out. We're gonna enter our 11th country on this journey. 12. 11th? Colombia was 11th. Are you sure? No, let's count. US, Canada, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia. Cannot be more excited, but definitely a little sad leaving this beautiful country of Colombia. Yesterday's last visit to that cathedral was just a perfect way to say goodbye in a very peaceful state of moment. Because Border crossing are chaotic as fuck and we needed a peaceful day before border crossing because today is going to be a hectic as F day! That is so true and we're already starting the day very late for border crossing day. So let's see what happens. Are you ready? Uh, I hate border crossings. Six hours minimum. We are five minutes away from the border. I'm 
heart is pounding a little bit because, well, we have a valid tourist visa, but our car permits have been expired for the past two months. This is nothing we could have done, and that's the dreaded DN office right there. I'm literally a little scared about what's going to happen. I'm hoping they don't Charges. impound our car or something, man. Okay. Charging is fine, but impounding car is going to be worse. They won't impound away. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Look at this model. It looks like a model in the middle of a Ecuador and Colombia border. Okay, so I went into the Diane office and she basically asked me for the original document, which I gave it to her, but she's like, dude, this is expired in August. So she's like, where's the extension? So I signed into my online account and assured the extension, but there's only one extension because the other extension that we had requested for once we came back from Canada was never approved because they only extend for six months. Then I think what happened was that there was a lot of people in line. So she was getting a little flustered. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I saw her writing Salida on this. And they don't have internet in that office for some reason. I don't know what's going on. So she wrote Salida in this, made some photocopies. And she's like, go. So I don't want to <laughs> jinx it just yet because oh, yeah. we haven't crossed into Ecuador. Yeah. But I think we might have avoided a potential $400 fine. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Hey, we are at Colombia Ecuador border entering Ecuador. Let's go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Even the car doesn't want to leave me. Let's go to Ecuador. Oh, don't leave me. I'm serious. <laughs> now, the first thing to do is to go get our visa stamped, our passport stamped with the entry date. And then after that, I'm going to go to the Aduna, which is a tip office, to get the import permit for the car. I have the, the official stamps to enter Ecuador and now I can go and go to the campsite and live our life. <laughs> okay, got my stamp for Ecuador. Now, second part is getting this brown man in the country. So Kartik is going to go and get his paper from Aduana office. Okay, Bali. But should... you have to buy a water. <coughs> Bali, should we sign you in? Okay, so the import permit is done. Fairly pain, less process. They just came and did the regular stuff. Check the VIN number, make sure the van is yours. We give this 90 days permit. We're ready to go. Insurance is not necessary, not compulsory in Ecuador. I've also heard it's not that easy to get for tourists. This might be the only country where insurance is not mandatory. Which is kind of strange. Even Mexico actually insurance wasn't mandatory. Which is okay. Insurance doesn't really do much here in these countries. Yeah. But you know what's interesting, Sim? Oh, that she's about to pee. She's about to pee? Yeah. Okay. But you know what's interesting? Yeah. Bali, come here. What? She's about it to pee. It is Bali's first country! Yeah, she's Bali! Colombia, no. Your first country! She's going to Ecuador! It's her first country! Yeah! So, Bali. Bienvenidos a Ecuador, brown man life! The border crossing process is always nerve wracking, but the moment it's done, it's so 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 exciting to drive the first few miles in a country right now we're going to this town called Tulkan it's literally 10 minutes drive from the border and then we'll make our way down to our first campsite the only thing I'm not happy about is the fact that they don't have a local currency man I don't get to do the ATM find local currency see what their notes look like mm. thing they yes, use US is. dollars here stop is actually a cemetery which is beautiful for many reasons which we'll share to you right now but it has a very unique stacking system uh, in the cemetery and also the gardens are known uh, all over Ecuador for the, the figurines they create out of the, 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 the plants here and the bushes here. first stop in Ecuador, two hours away from the border to this uh, finca called Finca Somerwind that all the van lifers on this Pan American journey have literally been talking about. First impressions of Ecuador, Sim, what is it? Roads are great, they're mountains. Food looks disappointing, but I'm really excited for the chocolate. Everyone says the chocolate is great, so that'll compensate for all the bad food. First impressions, Ecuador looks very similar. <laughs> 
to Colombia so far, but of course we're only like literally 30 minutes into it. Can't say much right now. Almost making it to our campsite in pitch dark Ooh. because Mr. Vasan wanted to. Yes. He started sleeping in parking lots. That's what, <laughs> he that's wanted, what it is. He wanted a nicer campground apparently, but this one is. Let's see how it is. Puppies are done. They're like, cup pods, rays, guard is a cup, nickling a hum. Cup nickling is guard is a. Made it to our campsite. There's so many overlanders here. Your They're doggos. And we are making pizza from scratch. FYI. This campsite is exactly what we needed after a hectic few days. A place full of like minded overlanders where we could discuss routes and plan our journey around Ecuador. Hope you guys are ready to travel Ecuador with us in the brown van.